all set to go jogging. I am so thrilled and excited to follow my new routine. But wait, I need to find my shoes. I remember I kept them in a shoe box. Did you find it? Oh, it's on my left. Hey, thanks. There it is. I really like the shape of the shoe box. It's so fascinating. It looks like a rectangle but isn't really a rectangle. How is it different? A rectangle only has a length and a breadth. But this box has a length, breadth and height also. Measurements such as length, breadth and height have a special name called dimensions. A rectangle only has two dimensions, length and breadth. So, it is a two-dimensional shape. This box has three dimensions length breadth and height so it is a three dimensional shape let's look at some more shapes for example anything that we can draw on our notebook is a two dimensional shape like a square a rectangle a triangle or a circle they have only two measurements or dimensions breadth and length so we call them 2d figures and as they can be drawn completely on one plane they are also called plane figures or shapes. Now let's look at the cuboid. It resembles our shoe box. Just like our shoe box, it has three measurements. Length, breadth and height. So, it is a three-dimensional object. And we call them solid shapes or figures. A cylinder, a cone, a sphere are all three-dimensional objects or solid shapes. Thanks for helping me find my special shoes. Now I'm going out for jogging. Why don't you observe all these figures around you? Also, keep wondering and continue learning.